Hello and welcome to PSM Speak. Given the will, the governments can do certain things which require no expenditure, no significant expenditure or huge budgetary allocations. But the effect of such things will be highly beneficial to the society, to the people. For example, some teachers, I am not saying all the teachers, nor I do not want to generalize the things, but we see the news of uh, teachers torturing the students, not treating them properly. What kind of money go does government need to give proper training to the teacher, sensitize them, see to it that they instruct the children with love and affection as if they are treating their own children similarly. Some police personnel we see in the news again, I am not saying all, but people do not trust the police. They torture their captives and they have been instances of uh, custodial deaths. What money extra government needs to give proper training to the police force, take action on those uh, who violate the law. Similarly, if you look at the traffic in the cities, true, the roads are bad, they require a lot of money for their repair and maintenance. But that apart, if traffic is properly managed, the travel in the cities would be safe. This won't require a lot of money to the government. For instance, I have taken some videos in the outskirts of a city in the United States. I will tell you at the end how these practices can be adapted in India. One city like Hyderabad can start this and other cities can emulate. Here is a stop sign. A vehicle coming here, stopping the driver. The drivers themselves are stopping. There is no traffic light. No police constable, they stop, look all the side, yield to the oncoming traffic. After that, merging into the traffic or the busy street, stopping, looking at either sides and getting on the road with proper speed. Now look how orderly the vehicles are moving, how the vehicles are maintaining safe distance distance between one vehicle and the other vehicle. This is important. The lane discipline is maintained very strictly. Nobody is suddenly coming to the other's lane when it is not convenient and following the route if they and choosing the lane appropriate for turning either to right or left. and safely parking. Here what we notice is no police constable is monitoring this. People themselves are trained to follow the traffic rules. How we can implement this practice or practices elsewhere in other countries? For this, the police personnel who are in charge of the traffic control should be motivated, trained, should be exposed. Let's say a city like Hyderabad, they can pick a dozen police officers. They can be sent to different countries, United States and other countries and other cities to study. 
that won't take too long some 10 15 days after they understanding how the traffic is maintained they can come back and train the junior colleagues my idea is to train the trainers first they will train the field level functionaries in the city and those functionaries police officers and constables they will educate the people on the traffic rules it's not with uh, an intent to punish the people for the first couple of months they can educate the people to follow the lane discipline to stop at the stop sign they can use the technology can have the cameras everywhere and after that the violators can be identified this only requires the will of the government not much money okay road building and road maintenance and other things will follow depending on the government's uh, priorities resources and finances hope uh, the governments will think uh, on these lines thank you very much for so patiently watching this video and please uh, do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already as you know the subscription to this channel is free. Thank you.